This is Maureen Sharon from Sophia Street Studio and I am back for Journaling by Fives Session 2. Yes! This should be totally awesome. Texture time. Now for those of you who may have seen yesterday's background wax paper debacle, I'm not going to let it get me down. I'm just going to keep going. We're going to turn our weakness into our strength. We lost some paper here. No big deal. The yes paste that wasn't dry. So much for a flat stick. This is what happens when you don't let it dry. You don't get a very flat stick. No big deal. Texture's cool. This one's really wavy. Woo! So holy pages. Anyway, I'm really excited about this. Although there's already a lot of texture on here, I'm going to be adding a lot more. I have my wax paper that everything's stuck to. I have some of those. I might use those. I have some random jelly prints. This one looks rusty to me. That's not what I was going for. I have some sheet music. Accounting paper. Random pieces of scrapbooking paper. I have a Chinese newspaper, at least I think it's Chinese because I got it in Chinatown. I have that to use. I have random recycled paper, my instruction manual for my new Billy bookcases. Yay, they're out in my hallway. Very excited. All my overflow of craft stuff. Those are all my big textured pieces, but this is my favorite part. Yep. It's a big box of fun. I have all these little odds and ends of things that you just can't throw away, but you just exactly don't know what to do with them. So this is my solution to that problem. For example, I love this. It was from an Avon catalog. It makes me happy. Hopefully I'll be able to use that at some point. I don't know if that's going to be a focal image. That might be another session. That's fantastic. I have a little bit of everything. Some calendar pages, some clothing tags, tea boxes. I love drinking tea punch out what's left over after I've punched things out. I have cards. I have lots of little Happy Mail pieces or swap pieces. We did a, I did a corner swap and that was a gorgeous one, but I haven't had an occasion to use it and I want to use it. Another piece of Happy Mail. So all of these things I think would make amazing textures coffee sleeve. Package from a soap that I got in Chinatown because it has really neat lettering on it. I was in this phase for a while. I like Jenny Belly's videos and she made recycled paper buttons. Yeah, they just didn't work for me. I made about two and they just about did my head in. So I started to punch out all these watercolor and random things, so I didn't want to throw them away, so I have those. Then over here are my teeny tiny things. I have to use this. My little Ikea instructions. Don't know what to do once you open the box. Call us at Ikea. It cracks me up every time. More little Happy Mail. Teeny tiny bits and bobs, this, that, and the other thing that were good, but really didn't go with things. 
little jelly printed hearts that I made. You get the picture. Some napkins, doilies, strips of things that fell off my paper cutter. I have some tickets. I was on a ticket swap. Never used those. Jelly prints. Random Wisconsin lottery card. It was not a winner, unfortunately. That may have to be a focal image. Little scrap paper soap. Anything that didn't go in my image binder, that wasn't really something I cut out of a magazine, I was trying to fix. I had made a watercolor palette with pill containers from the dollar store and cheap tube watercolors and they ended up cracking and breaking like crazy and I had seen that on the internet you could add some glycerin to dried and cracked watercolors and they would come back to life and they really do so my dollar store watercolor palette idea worked just add a little bit more glycerin wet them so I was playing with the black because I know a lot of people don't like black watercolor but I was messing around with the white and the black to see if I could revive them and just did that random piece of loveliness, but I liked it, so I kept it. And this project is perfect for that. Tickets, tags, you name it, I've pretty much got it. Random index card, iCAD that I was going to get into and then decided I really didn't like making iCADs, so that's there. Newspaper articles. I'm going to have to go through this process about a million times to use all the fun stuff that I have in this bin. So, this is the little texture pieces. And then off to the side here I have my bigger texture pieces. The only problem I have right now is trying to fit everything on the table. That can go there. Okay. This is because I, I just love that. Tickles my funny bone every time. I have no plans. Oh, just kidding. I do have plans. Also, because session two is recycled materials, I make recycled glitter. Yes, I'm serious. I make recycled glitter. I don't recycle glitter. That would be really weird. But so I'm woo, it's hard to show. Anyway, this is some this is red, white and blue. I don't know if it's showing up in the camera. I have some red, white and blue recycled glitter or homemade it's not recycled glitter. Yeah, it's recycled homemade glitter. I have some pink that I made. I have some blue, almost matches my nail polish today. Very little bit of purple. I like that one, I used it a lot. And then I have some red and white. So I want to use my recycled glitter to add some texture. All right. It is 750, 750. And I then have to end at 8.05. Put my watch over there, zoom back out, and let's go. I move my camera so that every time I put something down, it doesn't shake like my video that I had for the first session. That's so cute. But I'm not used to where it is now, so if that doesn't stay on, I'll come back and fix that. Alright, let's see. I think this needs this happy little heart. 
I have so much scrap paper. This was, I was making my own planner pages and you always have ones that you don't end up using. So I usually use those to jelly print on the back of. Oh wait, I have to do it both sides of the paper. Hello. Hold up. Back this thing up. I need something on here. Another thing I have I never use these. I get paper packs from like Sam's Club or something. I think I got this from. Or a scrapbook store. I'm not really sure. And it has these beautiful handmade papers. But I don't really use them at all. So I thought, oh. I'll pull them, I'll put them in my box, my use it up box, and kind of feeling it down here. Let's see where that goes. Leave this little piece up at the top. I have a feeling that this is going to be, I need to keep an eye on the time, that's for sure, for this session. I could easily get lost doing this one. Okay, that's a good start there. One, two, three, four. I want a butterfly. Not that one. Oh, I'm fussing too much. That's more like a focal image. That's really big. This is why I'm fussing. It's hard for me to tell the difference between texture collage and focal point collage. that I want to glue. I like that side better. I like the pattern on that side. This is so random. Shannon Green, you are definitely getting me out of my comfort zone. This is nothing that I ever would have done on my own. as I go through this as though the pages that I've used are too small. Now that I'm adding this texture, so much of my paint is getting covered up, which is good and bad. It's good because it doesn't, you don't see the gigantic holes in the paper, but bad in that I like the paint. This needs a map right there. Okay, 
Okay, how am I doing on time? Six minutes. That's good. It's about a minute per page, not exactly. Napkin swaps were so the thing this summer, it seemed. But I just never really got into it. Ah, it's stuck. Which side? book is sticking to my paper. Oh my goodness. It's really fun to watch everyone's videos for all of the sessions and see how it starts off as one thing and ends up as something completely, totally different. That's what's really fun about this. You think, oh, I don't know if I like that page. And then all of a sudden, you get to the next stage and you think, oh, I, I like that. I like that a lot. That's looking really nice. It's really a fun part of this. Now I am a little bit fussy. I know a lot of people are being really free with the colors that they use, but can't give up that much control. Yeah, that I want to stick down, but that'll be later. I'll do that later. Mm. Oh yes. That definitely needs to go there. Stop dilly-dallying. It is in the rules, says Shannon, that I can just stick it down and glue it more later, because this is with the warping of the pages, there's no way that this is going to stay on. Ooh. How about a big, gigantic, ha, ha love it. Happy clouds. Happy puffy clouds. Happy puffy clouds. Need. 
there's a train. Some tickets. Five minutes. We're in good shape. Or not. <laughs> I'm not really in good shape. Let's do some recycled glitter. That's some texture. How random is that? Very random for me. Fun! Why not? I am going to... Clean up my table later. I feel like I'm very incoherent at the moment. Three minutes. Holy cow. even know what this is but it's going right there that's where it wants to live I may have to come up with another adhesive solution for this one okay on this side. These were leftover pieces from a watercolor practice that I did. And it was on nice heavy watercolor paper and I thought well I'll just cut it up and use it somewhere else. All right last page. Ooh. Last page Two minutes to think. Ooh, I think this page needs red, white, and blue glitter. Yep, it needs some here. And some here. It's actually red, white, blue, and silver, so it's Didn't have enough. We'll make it. Come on, go that way. Go that way. That's good. One more piece. A few more seconds. Oh no. Yep, got it. Okay, I made it. Do 
or something on every page. Stick that in there so that doesn't know. I do have something on every page. I have just enough time to cut that off. Okay. And 8, oh, well, it just turned 806. I swear, I swear it just turned 806. I'm telling the truth. 806 just turned. That was interesting. Very interesting. All right, everything's dry. So that means it's time for another episode of Deep Crafty Thoughts. Yes, deep thoughts about crafting. This time, session two, texture. I like texture. This process has taught me a lot. I realized that I don't like this much texture only because it's hard to adhere things to the page. It's a little, little too 3D for me. But other than that, I definitely liked session one better than session two. I really enjoyed getting the paint and smooshing it all over, even though I had a catastrophic wax paper incident. I'm interested to see where these pages will go. I really like the coffee sleeve. Right now, they seem pretty ordinary to me. But in watching other people's videos, I know that with three more sessions plus free play, a lot can change in that amount of time. I really love that heart. I didn't, this isn't the same colors that I used on the jelly plate. I used different paints, actually, but it's funny how that almost is the same. I really do like my how that turned out with the my homemade recycled chunky glitter. That was fun. We'll see how that ends up. Same there. It stayed on pretty well too. It, not much of it fell off. But there's room to grow. I thought the most challenging part of this would be the time or the materials or letting go. That's not that wasn't a problem for me, I think, because I'm, I feel like I'm equally right and left brained. It wasn't as big of a problem. It was just the texture of the pages that was, is an issue for me with getting things stuck on the way that I would like to, but it's the process. It's interesting. We'll see how things turn out. So until next time, have a fantastic day and thank you for watching.